Well, he died doing his job as a volunteer firefighter. Tonight, an entire Eastern Shore community is mourning the death of 30-year-old David Chu, Jr. He died on his way to a call when the truck he was riding in crashed on Nelsonia Road between Bluxham and Route 13. Then in your size, Jason Marks just got back from the Eastern Shore. Jason? Uh Tom, Chu was on his way to a car accident this morning just before noon. Unfortunately, he was never able to make it. His loss has left a void that won't be filled anytime soon. Something just went completely wrong that fast. Stacy West is like so many tonight in Accomack County. She wonders what caused a fire truck to run off the road, leaving so many with such heartbreak. I mean, you don't just see this every day. You just don't see this every day. From her driveway along Nelsonia Road, and right after she heard a boom, she could see the fire truck buried in the woods. And then when the cops and everything and the ambulance got out here, they discovered that um, someone had got, one of the firemen had got killed. 30 year old David Chu Jr. was the passenger in the truck. Police say the two man crew was headed to a call when the driver lost control. The fire truck flipped before coming to a stop. Chu was thrown and died at the scene. It's a hard loss right now, very hard loss, and uh, I'm pretty much lost for words right now, really. Chu spent 12 years as a member of the Bloxham Volunteer Fire Department. <laughs> Fellow firefighters say his main goal in life was to help others. As a third generation, um, his grandfather was in it, and his father was in it, and he was in it, and um, you know, his heart was in it. Chu was also a pastor at a local church and worked as a paramedic for Northampton County Emergency Services. Once it's in your blood, it, it stays in your blood and it's hard to get away from it. And, and it was in his blood. It is just sad. It's, it's horrible. West never met Chu, though she, along with everyone else, knows how much of a loss this will be. You lose your life to try and to rescue another life, but, you know, it's just, it's just devastating. Yeah, that's, really exactly, is. that's exactly what he was doing. He was on his way. Exactly. Police say 44-year-old James Lambreth was driving the fire truck. He was taken to Peninsula Regional Center Hospital in Salisbury, Maryland. He is expected to make a full recovery. State police say Chu was not wearing a seatbelt at the time. Live in the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And as you can imagine, the Bloxham Fire Department is mourning. They told us that they will not be answering calls for the next week. In the meantime, other volunteer fire departments on the Eastern Shore are stepping in to help. New tonight.